Greetings in the name of the Most High Yah, it's King Yedaya, aka King Solomon, staying wise in life and in these markets. And today is the 21st of July 2022, it's a Thursday. I'm gonna do a little trade recap on my trade on NVIDIA. So today we have um, the Camarilla levels in a higher value um, relationship. Yesterday our tree was at 172.47. S3 was at 167.32. Today we have S3 at 174.92. R3 at 181.15. So a completely higher level, higher value day, with R3 um, S3 today being above R3 of the previous day. So, <clears throat> excuse me. We're supposed to be looking for longs in this situation. So um, we also look at the the rejection of the, the thesis, right? So if we're if the Camarillas are suggesting that we're supposed to be moving in a higher value or seeking higher value, if it does not do that, then we're looking for shorts, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's see. Let's go back down to the five minute chart. all right so on the first five minute candle saw this whipsaw action here this kind of doji candle clearing out stops and or whatever those market makers do um had some support here at the um lower vwap so i guess if you if you're if you're a bullish trader you would take something like this take an entry right here at um at lower vwap I'm not really a bullish trader because I was looking at the rejection right here and the moving down into the market open, right? So it's looking like we're seeking higher value, but then we start getting this sell off like major wicks and stuff like that. Big sell off candle, rejection off of upper view up, another rejection, doji candle. And nothing that is pushing back up price is not catching support. If you if you understand what I'm saying, there's no there's no support in these candles, right? Into the open, selling off, and then we flush down, right? But it um I was actually looking at something else at the open, so didn't really catch this, right? This could have been a nice short at the loss of view up, but on the second candle, I was I was on the I was on the chart and took the breakdown right here i believe somewhere around here was the first i don't know i can't remember exactly which one is the first one but actually i think this was the first breakdown right here that i took right so went short here let's see what level that was went short at 177.60 added to the position at 177.75 and then we popped up i let it pop up because my stop is above um, this candle right here so when we came back down entered here again at the break of um yesterday's close um we had a little flush down i didn't take any partials or anything like that it came back up on me created a lower high so went short here on the rejection at um 178.80 and i kind of jumped the gun here i was supposed to wait till we broke view up but i was seeing like we were moving so i jumped in here again added to the position at 178.44 um, and at this point i'm adding i'm adding bigger size right now so when we got this on the next candle when we broke um we we popped back up right and then we broke we broke view up coming back down broke um pre-market close so i took a partial i took half off right no actually took half off down here when we flushed down um kind of missed um lower view up taking a partial right here it kind of happened kind of quick so i took this partial half off right here at 177.23 and for some reason i was thinking well it's going to flush down now and we're going to get something of a some kind of somewhat of a trendy you know what i'm saying so i put my stop um to trail at one dollar and that's when it came back and it stopped me out so um 
I don't know if that was such a good decision to do that, but we, we did actually pop back up. So, you know, maybe maybe it was a good decision, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe just to set it at break even, because this is, I think in my average price, it was, was 178 at that point. So it almost stopped me out at break even. So I guess this isn't bad, you know what I'm saying? And um, looking back at it, we, we actually popped back up. So it's so so you know that decision was is questionable you know i could have left it um left my um montage in market order status so i could just execute market orders and when it pops up or take more partials and stuff like that or oh, you hear those guys in new york city they're crazy man like when you honk your horn like that that doesn't make anything happen bro that they're just crazy out here when they're driving man so um at that point, um, I made my day right here with these, with these two, um, these two. Well, covering half, then covering all here at one seventy-seven eighty-eight. So, made made my day right there, and um, I was looking at um, the break of yesterday's high, which was I think one seventy-nine thirty-five. So I took the break right there, small size. We popped up. I was hoping for it to break out. It didn't break out. When I saw the rejection come back, just kind of break even that trade. And then, <clears throat> then I took like, well, I saw this, this big rejection here. So I'm like, okay, well, we're going to, we're going to move down. Right. So it took a decent size, um, went short here at, uh, 178, 77, added to the position at 178, 68, added to the position at 178, 52. And, um, then we we flush down we we pull back up and it kind of kind of break even the trade again you know and in hindsight probably should have held um kept my stop probably above 179 or above r1 at 179.07 so somewhere around here just keep my stop above r1 and i would have captured this move back down to lower view up but um I just didn't want to mess up my PNL because you know it's looking nice, man. I didn't want to get, you know, sabotage it. You know what I'm saying? So I guess um, I guess I should have. This second trade could have really doubled up my day, but I was being cautious. You know, I was being cautious because we're still getting this kind of whipsaw action here. It's not, it's not really a trending day. It's not moving in one direction totally. You know, it's we're not getting like um we're not getting this flush move straight down, you know what I'm saying? We're kinda getting these um these pop back ups, you know, coming back down, popping back up. So I don't like to trade that kind of stuff, you know. I mean it's too choppy for me. If we're moving in one direction, that's what I wanna see, that's what I wanna trade. You know what I mean? I'm a trend trader, I don't like scalping too much, so these little scalps here is, is not really my thing, you know what I'm saying? And there's one thing I notice, like when I do, when I have a, a great open, sometimes when I see these other little, um, these other little trades, I, I try to jump in and sometimes it messes up, you know, I, I, I lose these little scalps I'm trying to do and I gotta accept, like, I'm not a scalper, man, I don't like scalping, so if I'm, if I'm looking for trends or if I'm looking for, for $3 moves and stuff like that, that's what I need to stick to, you know. If I can't get that kind of move or if the market is not setting up where it's moving in a certain direction and not chopping back and forth, then I should stay out, you know what I'm saying. So when things like this, when we have a move lower, like this is what I mean, right. If we have a move lower and we get this pop back up, all the way back to pre-market high i shouldn't take any shorts here anymore because at this point the market is just in indecision right so if you look at a bigger time frame let's see what that looks like it's a doji candle let's go to the 30 minute right so you see on a 30 minute candle, this is just indecision. It's a doji candle, right? So that's not the kind of candles I want to be trading. So on these small, faster time frames, you, you kind of get chopped up back and forth. But 
that's not the kind of trading I need to trade. And I'm going to start consulting these, um, like when I'm actually trading or like if I, if I, if I do good in the open, I have to look at the candles on the 30 minute or the 60 minute to see what's actually happening. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. It's King Yediya, a.k.a. King Solomon, staying wise in life and in these markets. And y'all trade safe and stay blessed.